Welcome back Curriculum Mappers. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with you a new feature I just launched today in our Curriculum Map. It's called Timelines. I've been thinking about this idea for a while and I finally found a solution using awesome tables uh, to accomplish this. And the way it works is um, you basically create a four column spreadsheet so just like this with your unit the name of the course a start date and an end date now it seems simple but it's a lot more complicated um, this view does not like you can't have more than four columns so it's three or four and also it doesn't like empty cells so you have to make sure every one of these cells has data in it or it will not work. So let me just first show you what it does. Um, so I can go to my timelines and I can choose a, a couple of courses. So say I'm looking at nine history and maybe I look, I'm looking at, oh, 10th grade history. I get this nice kind of timeline layout of the units that are happening and then an approximation of kind of when they're happening and uh, and it even gives you like the exact duration now we're not this precise with you know the days but these things are happening around this time and again these dates are determined by our uh, eight day cycle calendar so I'm actually converting cycle numbers to actual dates um, to fit this timeline. So the way I achieved this was through my file cabinet view. On this sheet, I added a timeline and a cycles reference uh, space, right? So this is how I was able to get the dates in there. And then in timeline, this is a query of just the columns I thought I might work with uh, to get that view. Um, and then, of course, here is where I created the dates right down this column. And again, this is a similar array formula to create the end date. And then because my unit names are kind of mashed together with the name of the teacher and the course, I had to split these out. So using a common delimiter such as this dash, I use the split function over here, and I just pulled it all the way down, and this actually gave me the unit titles in this middle column. Now it's not completely accurate yet, and I do have to fix some titles in order that they show up properly, because you can see there's like a one here, and then if I come down, there's a few other courses that don't quite fit, but that can all be resolved a little later. So. Having done that, um, I then decided to import this timelines sheet into a whole nother sheet to build that awesome table. So that's where this sheet comes in. Um, and I first started, I imported the range. So that's A1 through K, and I got these columns. And I had to narrow it down to just what I needed um, into sheet two with these four columns. And then the uh, the template is really quite simple when you look at this. Um, so to create that timeline effect, you're expecting something really complex and, and difficult, but this is what my template looks like. Course and course. That all that's it. That's what is being referenced to display that timeline. So there you have it. The hardest part of this is getting the data to to display properly because the problem I had was it does not like empty rows um, or multiple more than three or four columns so you have to kind of narrow it down and this made sense to me to have the unit the course and then the start date and end date and that was enough to display uh, the timeline view like you see here so and it also gives you a sense of you know, progress in terms of how complete is your is your map? Do we do we have a pretty 
good sense of completion or do we still have a lot of work to do? So anyway, but we're working on it. It's a work in progress and thanks for watching. Bye.